Madam Toastmaster, ladies and gentlemen. One night last summer, I was in my living room listening to a piece of my own music, and suddenly, I had a vision. As I sat there, I had a very strong visual image in slow motion of the airplanes flying into the Twin Towers on 9-11. The visual image that I had was in perfect timing with my music, and it brought about an emotional reaction in me because it made me think of those times on 9-11, the horror and the shock that I felt that day. Now, what came out of this vision that I had was my six-minute music video that I created called WTC 9-11. I released a video last August and, uh, to commemorate the fifth anniversary of the attacks on the World Trade Center towers on 9-11, and hence the title WTC 9-11. For those of us who lived through that day, we'll never forget the horrifying and vivid images. Many of us, perhaps some of you in this room, took an oath at that time that we would not allow this event to be forgotten. The music that triggered this vision of mine was a song that I'd written uh, some years earlier from an album that I'd released called Music for Earth Orbit. The music on this album was a style of music that I created my own style some years ago, and it fused my classical violin training with my Indian music influence of Indian classical music. I started playing classical violin at uh, 10 years old, and I've been a musician my whole life. Most of my music in this style is very serene and peaceful, and it has beautiful harmonies and melodies of the violin. The, the song that I was listening to that night, however, though, was very uh, deep and somber and more mysterious sounding. For me, that song, it set a profound mood of dignity and solemnity and uh, respect, and it brought up deep emotions of sadness and loss. After I had that vision, I gathered as much video footage as I could, much of it from my own archives, and I edited the footage together on my computer, and I made a seamless story that portrayed the attacks on 9-11. I wanted the story to be told simply and emotionally. I didn't want it to be about politics or conspiracy theories or any of that. I just wanted the imagery and the music, just the raw emotion. So after months of work, I finally finished the video and released it online on a website that I made specially for this project, WTC911.us. I also released the video on four social networking sites, YouTube, MySpace, Yahoo, and Google. And since then, it's been available online completely free on those websites and my own. And my own website, however, has a lot of factual information about the attacks on the World Trade Center, as well as very dramatic photos. And on these websites, another feature is that I encourage those who watch the video and get something out of it, if they know somebody, family, or friends that might be interested, I encourage them to pass it along. And I have an email letter on there that they can use and some ways that they can pass the information along so that as many people as possible can see the video. In fact, since it's been released, the video has been viewed over a half a million times on the internet, on those websites, and the response has been incredible. In fact, here's an example of the type of comment that I received on these websites. Quote, all I know once finding your site is that I found your music hauntingly fitting to that terrible day. If on 9-11 my emotions had a sound, they would sound like your beautiful music. Your work is truly amazing." Unquote. The image that you see here in front of me is a symbol that I've used on a website and around the internet in association with the uh, video. It shows a section of the World Trade Center structure in, a pe in the shape of a peace sign. In closing tonight, I wanted to tell you about my vow to help keep alive the memory of September 11, 2001. I've done this through the creation of my fifth anniversary memorial music video available for free worldwide on the internet. 
That night last summer I had a vision, and now that vision is a reality. And I, for one, will never forget. <laughs>